your 10.31.3 miles, 6,400 unverified. Looks like they're tracking towards Bathurst at this stage. Uh, present speeds, they'll be there about time on the hour. Their intentions unknown. Yep, copy. Uh, Victor, go off now. All right. We are pretty much over over on. I'll call that 4.6. All right. So I'm going to turn for 1.96. Settle. We'll pass one eight five. Freeze. Okay, log, I have put down my uh, time of departure is 4-6. Plus your interval. Plus the interval is 2-5 uh, two, two plus 4-6 is 5-1-0-1. Oh, one. No, that's not right. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Is ETA 1 of 1-1? One, one. Engine temperatures and pressures look good. Make sure it looks all right. Uh, altitude, we want to remain at 6-5. We are at about 6-5. Uh, radio, well, what's one-sixth of that? About four minutes. I'm just going to change now. That's close enough. Uh, and then the next one will be one, two, one, decimal two. Probably off heading already. Oh, okay. Hey, orientation, how's our track going? Yeah, are orientation. Heading? Are we going in the right direction? Are we going in the right direction? We want, uh... <laughs> That's the wrong one. All right. Uh, we want the lake behind us. We want uh, the major road crossing in front of us. We want the big lakes way off to the left. Big lakes way off to the left. Foggy lake behind us. Not sure I see the road. We're following a road here. Uh, yeah, I believe that's... I believe that's right. Power lines off to the right there. Yeah, that's right. Now, uh... I am totally off now. Actually, not too far. 196. Okay, orientation, fuel, we've done. Yeah, we've done fuel. Future times. Future times, I'm gonna climb a little bit first. Interval, 13 minutes. Plus 46 is 59. So at 5-7, I start map reading. I can do this. Where should we be on the map now, based upon our time? Uh, it's 5-0, we left at 4-6, so we should be 4 miles beyond, which I guess is about here. No, uh, no, four, uh, 8 miles beyond, which I guess is about here. So we should be seeing Black Spring come up on our right, forward right. The shithole you mentioned. Is that right? That's right. Um, and I've lost my heading. Can um, you, can you is see that the shithole there? That is the shithole. Alright, so we're right orientation. Like I noticed we've got a lot of cloud in front yeah. of us. 
It's scattered, but still okay. Okay. But because you've got a concrete fix, might as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And what time is it? Again, 5-1 now. So, I would say we're about here. A couple miles in front of it, maybe here. Does that seem about right? Yeah, that's about right. Alright. 5-1. Just so it gives you a... Yeah, a yeah. Because when you got something that's so... Insurance. Long, yeah, yeah. Because you never know. We might have a lot of cloud cover when we get to Crookwell, so yeah. we have to go off the last known position, okay. which is concrete. You don't want to write that down every minute, but every few minutes. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, when you've got a gym like this, yeah. next to your track, you use it. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. It's just more accurate than Oberon, because it's later. Look, if we didn't have the cloud cover, you look at it, and that's it. But because we've got that fixed here, because now we know at this time we yep. were here exactly, what we have there, we can dead reckon if we can't see what's on the ground. Okay, makes sense. Okay, well, whenever you look for a town, you did the right way. Remember, watch, map, yep. then ground. Okay. Because you can really screw yourself up if you just look out the front. Yeah, yeah I reckon you, that's you, a, uh, you imagine things. Yeah, yeah okay. That makes sense. Guys, yeah, that guy is so untrustworthy. I see two zero there. Yes, it is. <laughs> I guess it's good to learn with a dodgy DI, right? Yeah. Okay. But like, worst comes to worst, you can just use the compass. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's effectively what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes if you've got to change that so much, you're better off just picking a point on the horizon and steering to it. Yeah, actually, good point. Yeah. Sorry, what was our. 5-9. Um, 5-9? Yeah. Nine. Five, nine? yeah. Oh, thanks. Alright, we're coming up on that. No, we're not. Sorry. Bad at clock reading. <laughs> So you got a bit of scattered cloud, you can still see enough to be able to pinpoint. Yeah. Uh, Roger, you're cleared to uh, track to that position as required, 10,000. When you have a lap long for me. This is what Pete was telling you when the fog breaks up. Yeah, it's right to do this, yeah. yeah it's this sometimes, so. Yeah. It's okay, as long as it's scattered. If you find it as broken, then it, if you're very good at your map reading and hand right. holding, then you can go. Because There's no legal you don't requirement. Need much. Okay. I think a legal requirement is you have to be able to fix on land every half an hour or something like that? Correct. Okay. I guess you're also allowed to uh, carry uh, equipment like radio aids yeah. instead. A, yeah. po a positive fix is a pinpoint or the crossing of two bearings at greater than 45 degrees. Bearings on like uh, VOR or something like that? Yeah, bearing, okay. yeah, NDB and VOR. Yeah, okay. See, at this height, we could, we could get Cowra BOR, which is over there. Okay. Um, we shouldn't have any issue with height. And then we could get... Um, uh, Canberra would be a stretch because the hills around it. Yeah. But uh, where else? I might get muddy. Very close to that as well. This one's a VOR, right? Yeah. yeah. That'll be a fun lesson. But if you know how to navigate, you don't really need all of that. I mean, oh, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I, much better to learn the pencil and paper one first. I know a lot of people just steer on a screen, right? Yeah. That's bad. I know. <laughs> well, this way you can actually enjoy the environment you're flying through. Yeah, you, you actually look out the window, hey. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Well, this aeroplane, if you go that way, um, you can go that way for about five days. Five days? Yeah. Is that, uh, to Perth or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Through the Gaffer. So, so what? The Gaffer. What does that mean? Great Australian fuck all. Oh, the Great Australian fuck all. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that, yeah. <laughs> 
I would like to do that sometime. That sounds... Well, Paul did it in the Cirrus. Paul um, Solomon, oh, is that right? Yeah, you probably heard. You remember when you got your award? Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah. I remember. He hired the Cirrus and went to Perth and back. Desired and uh, resume your plan at uh, 1 0 I mean, that must be a slog, right? It is, but it, with a series, your, your miles are much quicker. And, okay. And you can go a lot higher too, which means you've got better scope. Ah, so you, can, you mean you can see better to navigate? Yep. How high do you go in, how high do you cruise in the series? Oh, you can go up to 10,000 feet. Oh, cool, okay. And this one, realistically, only 7,500 unless you have a tailwind? Well, this one you go to seven and a half, but um, that's pretty close to the surface ceiling of it. Okay, I, I think I heard Pete say if you have a tailwind, you could probably go above that, yeah. like a strong tailwind. Okay, what time is it? Five, Five six. six. I'll give you the map anyway, yep. so you can start your yes, map reading cycle. Sounds good. I'll start oscillating. <laughs> You know, Crookwell coming up in front of us, hopefully. That's gonna got a bunch of roads leading in. But we want a high point, well, we want a bunch of wind farms in front of us. We want a high point off to the right. Wind uh, to the right, if you can see it. We're looking for this big point here. Oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> All right, sorry. Uh, what did we have here? We've got um, these interesting features on the river here, the, the uh, like triple bend there. We've got the river intersection. That's beyond where we expect to be. We expect a Y junction in the road here. All right, turn left a little bit. Off to the right. Uh, and we expect high ground back into the left once we're there. So I think we're leaving the high ground. Well, actually, I'm not sure. We may be coming over the high ground now. All right. I mean, th these depressions with the fog are going to be the river, hey. Uh, much larger one over here. Yeah, I'm not seeing what I expected on the map. Um, back on. Heading. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, yes, we expect a lot of river activity in front of us. And uh, those river intersections ahead road off to the right, high ground shaped like this, there's a quarry behind us, that's a high point, 3560. Turn left a bit more so we're on heading yeah, while thank we you. do this. Thank you. Alright, now if I had to guess, the road's going to be under us and this is the river feature I'm looking for. Um, I may have a look for the road. Hard to tell with all the fog. Uh, let's see, I'm way off heading. Um, you can see off my right wing there. There's Is that the road, road intersection? There's a river there. That's okay. the river. And there's a road going off the high ground there over the river. Um, which is probably this. And then... Ah, oh, there's so much fog here. Two bends there, two bends there. Yeah, that's the... That must be this river feature we're looking for. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so the, the road is actually back there. Okay, so uh, how far would you say? We're like four miles from... Yeah, that point the there. Now. We're coming over the river now. So we're probably about here. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> oh, I had that wrong, didn't I? You're pushing the nose down. Yeah. Let's not crash into the ground. AV8. All right, 
right, we're clearly crossing the river now. How far would you say we're from the tip of that land jutting out into the fog? Four miles? Five miles? Oh, nah, it's not me about two, two and a half, three miles. Three miles, okay, I'll call it three miles. So, um, I reckon the land tipping, uh, the, the point of the land going into the fog is this. That seem about right? Yeah. So we should be, I would say we're um, maybe here? What do you think? Yeah, I think we're a little bit right of track, because you've been steering right. Oh, definitely right of track. Yeah, I, I would say we're about here. Yeah, because of the road proximity, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Okay, call it there. What time is it? 01. Okay, so uh, we'll call that a little over 20 miles. And we are about five miles right of track. So that is, uh, wow, 15 degrees. Did I do that right? Yeah, 15 degrees. So we want like 30 degrees to the left. That that's feels like a lot. That's a bit too much. That's too much. Maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm saying we're too far away. Yeah. I mean, well, maybe four miles. Uh, call it about two miles. Two miles off track. Okay. Well, then that means we want uh, 12 degrees to the left. So that is 184. Take your word for it. Check my compass. look good. Picture looks good. Altitude is right still. Radio, we don't need to switch yet on this, this next segment. Uh, orientation. You're ahead of me. We expect a river crossing up ahead. Roads going into Crookwell. Not sure I can see any of that under the cloud though. Um, the river we're departing is behind us to the left, as expected. I think this orientation is right. You know, largely. Fuel is at 1.3, uh, which is not yet. Future times. Okay, we're about one mile beyond. But we subtract, okay, half a minute. So let's say we're one minute late there, which means we expect to be two minutes late here which means we expect 1-3. Also when we have to do fuel. I'm gonna pay attention to flying, you tell me what you think about the clouds. Also lifted fog. Yep. Oh, we can stay down through it enough. Sorry? We 
can stay down through it if there's big enough holes. Yeah. Just well, for somebody who's good at it anyway. I'm glad you're with me. Giving me the marker so I can remark this. Really messing me up. Alright, it's 1-0, so I'm going to start having a look at the map. Okay. Alright, we're coming up at Crookwell. The hint is the uh, wind farms. Starting to dive again. Alright, we want the wind farms. We want a high point. Uh, there's a hill forward and to the right of the... Uh, beyond and to the right of the town. Uh, there's Lagan and to the uh, left and right ahead of it um, with a larger road coming from Binda. Uh, we want a big lake off to the right. 
And we want the aerodrome beyond the town. Now, I don't think I can see the aerodrome. I'll have a look as I fix this. All right. Can't see the big rivers. Can't see the wind farms. Really? Really? Oh, there are the wind farms. Well, there's some wind farms anyway. There's a lot of wind farms around. I'm aware. Um, there's like a trail of wind farms going off to Goulburn, isn't there? Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's power lines going between them. Major roads coming into Crookwell. Uh, there's, uh, what is that, Pedjar Dam beyond Crookwell. So, I see some wind farms over there, but I'm not sure exactly which ones they are. Uh, one and then two with some trees between them. I don't... Oh, there's some wind farms, lots more wind farms, so those must be the Crookwell ones. Have a look around for the town. Can you see the town? Oh, <laughs> well, there's the town. Uh, good point. Alright, and those would be the ones beyond it? Have I done this right? Uh, maybe those are the ones well beyond it. Uh, one, three, five, um, this is either Logan or Crookwell. I would guess... There's some water over there. Where's that hill? You're always looking for hills. I see... Uh, there's a crack in the clouds there. Those must be, what, rivers or roads? Why are there, like, depressions in the clouds there? Oh, that's just a burn off. Oh, yeah. no, this gives you a map, I'll show you something. Yeah, show me. Okay. Here, when you get the Crookwell, okay? Yep. Notice you got... Near the actual aerodrome, you got a couple. There's a couple there. Okay? One, two, yeah. And there's a couple just south of it. And there should be some of being the town. And to leave control area descending. And there's the town there. So that must be Crookwell there, not Bogan. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the, uh, I'm going to go back to the town then and do my turn from there. Okay. Two, six, killing 221 dollars. Notice the circle is bigger at Crookwell than... Yeah, yeah, but I don't know how big that means, you know. I'm not well, attuned to it yet. Yeah. Bigger than Black Spring. Dragon and Black Springs the same. All right, yeah. All right. So we say this is Crookwell. Where's that dam? It must be under the clouds. Yeah, oh, there, there it is. I can see it now, yeah. Yeah, we passed it. Before. Yeah, okay. Couldn't see it before. All right, my next heading is uh, 086 from Crookwell to Moss Vale. I've dialed up here. All right, we're over the town now. I think. Nope. Yeah, we are. Okay. At uh, one three. Perquil one three. William Mike Romeo X Ray. Um, would you happen to have uh, any weather? Garbage DI. All right. Going to be close enough to get started. I'm going to turn for zero eight and six. One, thanks. Standing by, Mike Romeo X Ray. Fifty degrees should be out there somewhere. About 90. About 90, the guy is actually correct. Oh no, it's not. Alright. About 10 degrees this way, 7 degrees. Alright. Already logged the time. Hey, right, time now, one, one, three. three. Yes, plus, plus, plus interval. Plus, oh, we do this now? Okay, uh, three, four. So ETA is uh, three four. Box down engine and altitude. Yep. Uh, engine looks good. We want full rich because we're gonna go. We're gonna descend, correct? Not yes. Yeah. Wait, because we'll be near the cloud. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, so we'll leave it. it. Hold it until it gets a bit thinner. All right. Leave it for now. Um, radio. We'll do that at the halfway point. Uh, orientation. All right. Have a look. We're leaving Crookwell. We expect the, the big old highway to our right. We expect Crookwell behind us, obviously. We expect the dam back into the right. Uh, we expect wind farms to our right. Wind farms back into the right. Wind farms. Okay, hang on a second. We haven't gone beyond them yet. Is that what it is? Yep. Four of them back into our right. I'm not sure. These ones aren't on the map, are they? Or are those? Those ones, yeah. That's these ones? Yeah. All right, so we're going in the right direction based on that. We, there's some... Uh, 
the hill forward into the left somewhere. Not sure I can see that though. Alright, there's the wind farms. I don't think these water features are on the map. We do expect uh, the Pajora Dam like for Romeo X -ray, over there uh, somewhere. I don't think I see it though. Uh, huh. As an alternate, if you need it. Uh, the meta from okay, on the is has be good. All right. uh, visibility ground. Uh, fuel, we haven't done. Need to do. So that's uh, an option for you. Perfect. Thank you very much, Micro Romeo X -ray. Much appreciated. No worries. Alright. 8-1. on track. Unlike us. Alright. Yeah, you like going to the right, don't you? I, the pl I feel like the plane likes going to the right. That must mean I like going to the right, yeah. I'm not sure why. It's just tilted to the left a little bit, I guess. Um, all right, future times. One on 11 minute interval. From uh, one three gives us two four. Halfway to Mossvale. Right turn. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, I will hand you this. Look again at two one or two two. Not too far away. Clouds are a little bit better here. Maybe we'll descend when we get beyond this one. Yeah. All right. So the the rule about the cruising levels is not a hard rule if if the weather gets in the way, is it? Correct. Okay. At this height, you're supposed to be a thousand feet above or below. Yeah, right. So we're definitely a thousand feet above, but I don't think we can get a thousand feet. No, not 5,500. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. We'll be in the ground, eh? Yeah. How far? How far? What level do you think those clouds are? Five five. Oh, they're probably a bit lower. They're probably close to about about five thousand. Okay. So this is about one thousand five hundred above. Yeah. Okay. Are you talking about the tops of the clouds or the base? The tops. Okay. Maybe I'll start descending. All right. There's better up front. Damn. Hey, the forecast was wrong. It's supposed to be Cav OK. Oh, it did say um, scattered at three to 6,000, I think. Yeah, that wasn't scattered when we were at the broken. That was close to the broken. broken. Yeah, all right. Now, you reckon, obviously, I can't do it myself, but uh, for somebody experienced, that was fine. Look, at the end of the day, you would have seen Crookwell. Yeah, true. As long as you hold your heading and you see the importance of that. Yeah, there, definitely. Yeah, we went from a pinpoint, which was a bit flaky in terms of position. Yeah. But we, the, the heading correction was correct. Yeah, we were pretty close in the end. Yeah. But your estimate of distance is a bit... Yeah, I need to work uh, on that. Yeah. Okay. Remember downwind spacing? That's a mile. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Still, that, that feels like... Uh, it's, a, it's much lower, you know what I mean? Like, I need to think about continuing that angle upward. <laughs> Remind me what our halfway point is. Uh, two four. Two four. All right. Couple Need to deal with the uh, mixture first.
Heading first. Infection, uh, our last six was counted. All right. at one four off the X-ray. Oh, pull this out. Wait a little bit. Okay, X-ray golf uh, copied all those details. Thank you. Off golf. Start having a look for yep. your feature now. Okay. All right. Uh, we expect to be here. There is a Y junction in the river. Uh, major road to the right. Uh, y junction and road uh, in front of us. River is back into the right of where we want to be. There's power lines crossing our track. Uh, for then, and there's a big power line cross near a river forward and to the left. So, I've forgotten everything I've said. All right, roads, river, power lines, river, all right. Uh, the Y junction in the river, well, I see some power lines here, they just crossed our track, so that actually gives me a decent, yeah, uh, um, they should be crossing a road nearby. I think we may just be beyond that. Um, there's a small river with a Y junction. Is that the one I'm looking for? The right, got a little bend after it. Not 100% sure about that. Uh, expect the power lines to cross. Remember, at 2-4 we should see that, so remember, it's not 2-4. Yeah, yet. okay, good point. What time is it? I need to look at that first, thank you. 2-2, two, two. so... We're t two miles ahead of us, we expect to see these things. Well, some of them were beyond. I think I was right about the power lines. Um, at 2-4, a little bit back into the right of that is the River Y Junction, so we expect it to be over here somewhere. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of civilization there. Not much. How about high ground? Power. Hear that uh, road feature? Do I see a tower? <laughs> Towers are not easy to spot, are they? Okay, Superman. <laughs> okay, fair. Okay, fine. Don't see a tower. Um, we expect the... I mean, here's a clearing. The roads must be up here in the cl in the cleared area, right? Yeah, remember, we're, we're scoping ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, so the, you're saying this is the road up here. Um, oh, look. It's coming up to 2-3. <laughs> Alright, 2-3. Where's the damn river though? That's what I don't see. I see a, a dried up river below me. Maybe that's one of the ones I'm looking for. Where's the Y though? The cleared area over there. Uh, this is mo so much harder than it seems on the ground. Um, still don't see a tower. Melbourne Centre, Victor Hotel Oscar is maintaining themselves. Victor Hotel Oscar, Melbourne Centre, good Alright, there's another river. There should be a river right under it at 2-4, which is now. So maybe that was the dried up river I saw there. No, here's a river. Where's that Y bit? Should be like about here. Oh. The Y bit. That's a creek, not a river. Yeah. That's a river, right? Yeah. Okay, that's a river. <laughs> uh, with a kind of a, it looks like maybe there's a bend there. Shit. Road's coming in here. I know this is obvious to you. There's a turn in the road there. The uh, river beyond it there. I think I need your help, Doug. All right. There's a road.
road. That's the road. That's a road, yes. Okay. And look down here. There's camera information. Yeah, a little bit of... There's a river there. River there. There's one here. That's the junction there. I don't see the other one. Where's the other one? Oh, those two. Yeah. I don't and see them joining, but it must happen down there somewhere after a bend. So, is that this junction? Sorry, I can't hear you. Yeah, it's the... It's that junction. Yeah, we're close to this one here, but we actually passed it. Okay, so maybe it's this junction here. Yep. Okay. This junction here. Should be the road crossing it nearby. There's some power lines. Yep. There's the river here, does a 180. Yep. So... Is that this? Yeah. Okay, you reckon we're here? Yeah. There's some the power, power lines, line. yeah. Power where's the other power lines crossing? So there. I can't see the other one. I see that one, but where's the other one? Is it under us? Just see one thing of power lines. Where they cross. There's a, a substation over there. Yeah, here's the substation. Yeah, I think it's, we're directly over the substation, I think. Uh, I see another one over there. Yeah, okay. So I think we're to the, we're beam the substation. I reckon we're here. Wingello, but is, is Wingello nearby? No. No. Uh, where about here? Here. Yeah. Here. Sierra, certainly. Okay, so we're well beyond that point. Time is uh, two, 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 uh, two, seven. ILS approach, runway three five. Okay, big point. Still one in sixty. Uh, uh, how far have we gone? Shit. The, uh, uh, Hotel India Romeo Lima, both on. Uh, no. so we've got more than 20 miles, we're um, uh, 3 minutes beyond that, maybe 6, so 26, so call it 30 miles we've gone. And uh, how far off the track are we? Temperature 4 and the Q&H 102. I read that as about 4 miles. Does that seem about right? So 4 and 30 uh, is 8 and 60, and we're beyond the halfway point, but we'll call that six, uh, 8 and 60, so 16 degrees to the left. Yep. So um, our heading should be seven zero. Uh, what am I doing? All right. Okay. Thank you for flying for a moment. Uh, seven five. All right. So we're turning just a little bit to the left. Five. More to the right. All right. Um, so we were as far beyond three minutes afterward, which is more or less on time. I think not. It's not too far off. So I'm going to leave the ETA. If we can hold the heading, maybe we'll be there about right. If we can hold the head. Victor Hotel, Oscar Center. Engine looks all right. Altitude, we're at 5.5. Five. Radio, we expect to be on one, one decimal 2 at one half. We're well beyond that. The next one is 124.55. Orientation, well we expect the uh, major highway closing in to Mossvale ahead of us and uh, river intersection on the left. There's a major highway. Uh, I'm not sure I see Mossvale at this point. But it looks like we're going the right direction. Fuel, next one is at 4-3. believe. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, I do see Mosfail. <laughs> Delta's landed. Should I hold my heading or go through it? Alright. So it looks like I overcorrected. A little bit. Where do you think that error came from? Well, basically, uh, the pinpoint that we had, we weren't that far off track. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like it. Alright, briefing myself for the next one, we're going to the Oaks at uh, 5,500, I'm actually climbing. Um, at a heading of 006. Up there. And we're going to switch to Sydney at one third. And I have put a star, actually we should, uh, we can switch to the VTC. Is Mosfield on the VTC or just VNC? I can't remember. Did you wax still? Alright. And amended task flows issued. The reason I've put a star is because we need to descend into the oaks. Because uh, we'll have to be at 4 or 5 soon after we leave. Alright, just convincing myself this is Moss Fail. It's a major built up area to the right of the highway. We expect Bowerl and Mittagong off to the left. Uh, maybe I've actually chosen one of those, haven't I? There's a big one. Back into the left is this built up area, which would be Barama, if I've done that right. Is there like a quarry or something on the chart here? Uh, there's a major road coming off around the uh, reservoir in front of it. We talked about the reservoir. I guess that's the reservoir. Two of them. One, two. One, two. So that's the reservoir. This is Mosfell. There you go. All right. That's what you call a supporting feature. Yeah. What's the name of that town over there? This one here? Yeah. That should be Sutton Forest or Exeter. Or Penrose, there's three of them. Uh, I'm coming into Mo Mosfail, the closest one down the road is Sutton Forest. Now we do not want to descend too early into the Oaks because then we will go into the um, aerial vehicle area. Mosvale, three, four, right on time. Excellent navigating. <laughs> All right, let's turn for uh, 006. I'm at 95 now. No, I'm not. I'm at uh, 105 now. Happy. Yeah. Altitude, we're at 5.5, five, which is where we should be. Orientation, all right. Coming out of Mossvale. We expect to be crossing the major highway soon. We expect bow roll forward and to the right, uh, with Sydney way up ahead on the right, and the uh, major lakes way up ahead on the left. So we're coming over bow roll now. It's a lot bigger, isn't it? Um, 
Major Lakes way off to the left, can't see Sydney. Team Metagong's airstrip over there in your two o'clock about four, five miles away. Okay, not sure I see it. it which, what's the orientation of the runway? Uh, northeast, southwest. And we are going, so it should be oriented approximately with us. Yes, there it is, it's big, yeah. I see it. Bigger than I expected. All right, that's orientation. Fuel is at 4.3, we got a few minutes. Uh, future times. So we left at 3.4, we expect uh, plus 1.5 gives us 4.9. Uh, eight minute interval is 4.2. Six. You can see your fuel now. Too early, eh? It should be four three. All right, we'll leave it as well. Yeah, I think we do it at the Oaks. I think maybe I'm turning right when I look at the compass. I think maybe that's what's going on. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it should be a body. But if I let go... Look at the compass. No, no, but no, no looking at the compass. It turns right. It does too. I think that's what's going on. <laughs> Alright, I need to compensate by turning left. That's what I need to remember. Or, you know, stick left. How do you balance that? You have to like uh, adjust the rudder? I just use a bit of opposite either. Oh yeah, I mean for me yes, but if you wanted to fix that uh, error in the plane. Uh, would... You want to do the ailerons and you can adjust them. Oh okay, yep. The uh, rod ends. I see. Uh, that's not much, that's only like half a turn of a nut. Okay. On each side. Now I'm going to switch to Sydney now, I think it's about time. And then next one we're going to want is Bankstown Atus. Sydney traffic, Warrior Victor Juliet Alpha is at Long Reef, tracking north to Newport and then inbound to Brooklyn. Beach. And Sydney. our. We're on 4 2. One more minute, I'll look, start looking. Actually, I'm slow. Do it now. Victor Juliet Alpha, just be advised, you get an aircraft on your right 130 north there, 1500. Not us. Alright, so when we get there, we expect the hilltop back into the right, we expect uh, be crossing a lake right right under us at the, at the point we get there. Sorry, I'll get this back in the track. All traffic in the Picton Wilson area, extra limit Victor's uh, three minutes of dropping, 12 canopies from flight level 140 in the Picton Wilson area. We expect to be over power line crossing a river. So I'm going to be looking for hilltop and the power line and the river, high ground forward and to the left, reaching out toward us. So if I had to guess, I would say that's hilltop there. Um, there's also, what is that, Colo? And there, uh, hilltop, okay. So we're not there yet. Two miles ahead, we would expect that. There is power. There are power lines here, and probably through that cleared area up there. Hey, and the river, which we expect, to be following the power lines more or less at that point, with uh, Fargo. Further ahead, a larger town along the major road. All right. Traffic in the Terry Hill, Northern Beaches, helicopter Papa Romeo Whiskey. Departing Terry Hill, tracking direct to. Way right. On the coast. Okay. So, my theory is that's hilltop. And that those are the power lines. Yeah. In the sun's glare, I can't see the river at this point. Maybe I should be able to. 
I do see uh, the major river over there reaching out and maybe turning back that way. Maybe not. These may be the two points that it reaches out here. Um, so if that is hilltop, we expect power lines to cross a river just beyond it. And we expect a river reaching out toward hilltop here. That's got, yeah, that's the power lines. They cut pretty close to that though, more, closer than they seem to on the, no, maybe not. Unless that's Buxton. Hell. Hilltop is the same size as Buxton, with Fargo to the right, closer to Buxton. Which was shit. Too many towns here. Maybe that's Fargo. Then there's uh, Tabor, Thurlmere, and Picton all near each other up there. So I'm going to say that's Fargo, which means maybe this is actually Buxton ahead, and I've missed uh, Hilltop. If that's Buxton, the power lines come close. And they turn. Do they turn? I can't tell under my line. Okay, grab your BNC. Are you a BDC? Yes, that's what I should be doing, eh? All right, here we are coming in. Hilltop, Buxton, Bargo. Power lines, little lake by the power lines beyond Buxton. There's that little lake, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Okay, so we're over Buxton, I think. Have I done that right? Where's that lake? We're over Buxton currently. All right. So, at 4-2, looks like we're fast. I would say we're about here. Does that seem about right to you? Yeah, okay, so at 4 2. So we are fast. We've gone uh, one, two, three miles beyond uh, in two minutes. So called out one, uh, two miles, so that was 4 1, we were there. So we were one minute early. Which means we expect to be two minutes early here, which means we expect 4 7. Alright. What's my heading? Close. Okay, you notice on the VTC, where's the four and a half thousand foot step? It's, it's beyond the Oaks. So there's the Oaks. Uh, once we turn, we're going to need to be at four and a half thousand. Okay. Um, so I'll... Should I start descending, you reckon? Yeah, start descending now. Right. The four five? Oh, shit, thank you. Yeah, we'll go four five. Okay. Now do I see the oaks? It must be that up there. Not 100% sure. Traffic. Yep. Do I want to just go to 3-5 so I'm at a cruising altitude? Uh, I think the four and a half because it's traffic. We're coming into a high traffic area. It's better to be high, yeah. so you can see it better. Right. Okay. I guess in the uh, training area, the cruising levels are kind of not not really a thing anyway. All right. Now I feel like I should know the Oaks, but uh, I don't usually come from this direction. Um, I expect Picton on the right with the Oaks further ahead, and then Oakdale off to the left. And obviously the big lakes there, and then Camden forward into the right. So, uh, I'm gonna guess that this is Picton, and this is all the stuff leading up to Picton here. Maybe we're over Tom Moore. Uh, so that should be the Oaks up there, and Oakdale to the left, and then, uh, can't quite see Camden, I think, but that's gotta be the Oaks. So I'll head for the Oaks. After the Oaks, we are turning to 050 to our end. Well, the, the smoke tends to suggest it is uh, southerly. Right, southerly means coming from behind the tailwind, that's why we're going fast. Is that what you mean? Yep. All right. Down a little bit. Um, 050 next.
Camden camped in, in the clearing there, I think. Yeah, here's the spinning area. Camden Tower, uh, Diamond Victor Mike X-Ray uh, at the oh, oops. center 1800, uh, inbound with Delta for circuits. You're on the area frequency. Apologies. All right, well, I've got time here. I'm going to do the fuel. One or two minutes early. Drive a given point. Helicopter Oscar Sierra Lima Bell Longaringa is tracking southbound coast all over water. I have not leaned it yet. I'll do that in a minute. One thousand. Uh, remaining is six three. Drive a given point. Three. About on track there. I'm diving. Bit of leaning. Alright, I see it wants to be a lot leaner down here, doesn't it? Yeah, I see it now. And all the beaches dropping on the Tango Zulu, uh, Beaver Flight Plane, uh, Long Reef 1000, Super Flight 1500. Uh, all that good for now. For uh, a bit water, and all the spare jelly, all the beaches. I've lost the oaks under the nose, I see the airfield here. Go over the airfield. Which I believe is what I planned to. DI, 3 4. Parts of Canadian Uniform Charlie on descent to 10,000. Uniform Charlie near the parts. Uh, Fire heading to the parts area. Line of entry traffic, Warrior Victor Charlie. Hey, what time you got? The Brooklyn Bridge track. I got uh, 4 3 at 2,000. The Oaks. Line of entry traffic. 4-3, YOAS, 4-3. Alright, I'm turning for 0 5 zero. Hotel Oscar, maintaining 6,000, request... Not exceeding 4,500. ...to Kevin Whiskey Bravo. Hotel Oscar, you'll be doing sector entry and hold. Uh, negative to direct entry to the hold. Approach. You're straight in, confirm. Confirm, uh, Victor. Victor. Hotel Oscar, I've got... Uh, traffic for Whiskey Bravo for the hold, they uh, excel to about eight miles to the northeast, 5,500. There's no additional traffic for descent. Victor Hotel Oscar. Sound Sheriff, morning, Trans 3072, I'm climbing 9,000, passing 8,000. Trans 3072, heavy departures, got. All right, I don't need to look at the map for the orientation on this one. We got uh, Camden. Oh, shit, where's Camden? Camden's under us. It's approximately the right direction from the Oaks. I mean, ahead of us, not under us. Four or five there. I do feel like I'm steering too far to the right, based on my knowledge of 2RN. But I'm going to stick with it. I've already logged the time, the uh, 4, 3 plus 9 is 5, 2. Yeah, Engine, yeah, yeah. game is happy. Altitude, we're at uh, 4,450. Radio, we are on Sydney Center. Orientation is good, I already did that. Fuel, I already did. Uh, future times, we want a plus four minutes, gives us. Not sure I really need to draw this one in, but okay, four seven. Okay. So can, let's start our cruise, do Yeah, I think so. So we're done. Don't have to do a really fast. Yep, sounds good. Don't forget the mixture. Gosh. Yes, thank you. And this is what you want to plan when you're doing the descent, so that yeah. you arrive... Yeah, maybe under 2,500 beyond the L-shaped layer K. Okay. Yeah, okay. you're not doing a super okay. steep descent. Is this about the right angle? Like, from here we'll make it, hey. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Now, the reason I feel like we're steering too far right is because uh, I normally go in via the road, but maybe we will actually...
intercept to our end in a reasonable place. 8,000. Um, uh, QNH1026. The halfway point from the Oaks. Ah, oh, I didn't draw it on here because I know how to get to our end. I should have done it. Um, halfway point is traffic inbound. Here, another tower. I don't actually know that tower. Approach over. We're reeling back to the right. 12 o'clock. Get four miles. That's a 400. So we're in park on here. Charlie Motel, the perimeter of 5,400. I got to meeting. Yep. Charlie Motel, thank you. 3,300 feet. Yeah, he's just left to your 12 now inbound the approach. You'll pass about a mile behind. Charlie Motel. Traffic there. Keep the hotel, Oscar. I do have uh, traffic hanging about two miles south of the Oaks at uh, 5,900. Looks to be doing some form of aerobatics. Um, that Whiskey India contact, Cannon Tower 120, that's more. Yeah, please tell us to come in traffic looking and uh, tower at Whiskey India 120, that's more. I keep it going to 1500. If you want to, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get. Not yet. In a minute, I'll get the ATIS. Playing my traffic. This is Cherokee November uh, Zulu heading north uh, to. All right. Minnesota. If it's all right with you, I'm gonna forget the maps for now. Just try to hold the heading and see what happens. 900. I don't know what will happen if you hold the heading. <laughs> Traffic in the Sea Cliff Bridge area, helicopter Oscar Sierra uh, Lima is about long range, tracking south. We'll go to 2000 for now. Water, 1200 towards Wollongong. Traffic in the Sea Bridge, cliff, sea cliff Bridge area. Power Six, we have Ashley Bravo. Bravo. Thanks, Town Terminal Information, Bravo. Runway 29 right for Royals and Departures, frequency 132.8. Runway 29 left for Circuit Training, frequency 123.6. Runway 29 Center in use. Wind variable 5 knots, Cav OK. Temperature 13, QNH 1026. On first contact with Bankstown Ground or Tower, notify receipt for information, Bravo. Thanks, Dave. Power runway right number one. All right, we've got Bravo. Runway uh, right uh, number one. Going to join crosswind for two nine or right. Thank Variable wind on landing. Engine temperatures and pressures look all right. Technic fifteen eighty tower join downwind runway two nine right. One thousand five hundred. Join downwind runway two nine right. One thousand five hundred. All right, like I said, I'm not used to this angle, uh, but two RN is straight ahead of us. I know those buildings. Runway right. I can't really see it, but uh, I'll be a hotel poetry runway. Tango Romeo Romeo, runway left, clear touch and go. Runway left, clear touch and go, Tango Romeo Romeo. To the extra Yankee, clear visual approach, runway right, number two, following the Cherokee Lake base. Clear visual approach, uh, number two, for right, to the Yankee. Tour ends a lot further this direction than I thought it was, for following that road. Traffic is a Cherokee. That's what was throwing me off. Runway change of runway center, clear to land. Uh, looking for traffic along the runway center, clear to land, Lima Chapel. Is this a safe Romeo, direction Romeo, to approach from? Cherokee. All right. I should probably get it 1,500 though. All right, Tango Romeo, Romeo. Park Charlie November, light down, wind for touch and go. Park Charlie November. All right, Tango Romeo, 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 Romeo
Great South Sala, helicopter Zulu Zulu Tango, Olympic Park 1000, in Boundary Bravo. Zulu Zulu Tango, Tower Fort Choppers North. The Fort Choppers North, North Zulu Zulu Tango. Yankee down to Lima, traffic is a G2 inbound from Homebush, 12 o'clock, 2 miles, unverified 900. Taking on 1580, downwind. Taking on 1580, clear visual approach, runway right number two, follow the session on final. Looking for traffic, clear visual approach, runway right. Taking on 1580. Bravo Mike Zero, traffic is a Technium, late base with the southern runway, change of runway centre, clear to land. Runway centre, clear to land, Bravo Mike Zero. Bit of killer Victor, traffic session on final for the middle runway. Killer Victor, sighted. Lima X-ray for power and Alpha 4, cross runway right. Alpha 4, cross runway right, Lima X-ray for power. Thanks on Tower, Robin Indy Sierra November is inbound at 2RN, 1,500 feet with information Bravo. Yes, yeah, November Tower, join crosswind runway 29 right, maintain 1,500. Crosswind, turn on right, 1,500, India, sir, November. Shit, I thought that was for somewhere else. Somewhere else, thank you. I thought I over-transmitted him. He was so quick. Turn right. Yep. Brakes with the tower, runway right. Pressure on the is fixed. Make sure his ridge, fuel pump is on. Fuel selection is on. Runway left, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, Victor, go, Victor. Pressure, nonsense, warning light, canopy, harness. Right, Mark, Sierra. Whereabouts is your parking? Uh, Juliet, Brian, Mark, Sierra. Alpha Max here, roll through Alpha 2, the piano keys. Alpha 2, Alpha Max here. Tango, Romeo, Romeo, downwind, touch and go. Tango, Romeo, Romeo. Zulu, Zulu, Tango, chopper north. Zulu, Tango, join and report base, main pad. Join and report base, main pad, Zulu, Zulu, Tango. Next time, Tower, Turkey, Sarah Fox, Akilo. At Hornet Point, uh, right, right, turn on right, road for up and departure. Sierra Fox, your kilo, tower, runway right, clear for takeoff. Runway right, right, clear for takeoff, Sierra Fox, your kilo. Thanks, Sound Tower, helicopter Sierra, uniform Alpha, in Prospect 1000. And... Uniform Road November, runway left, clear touch and go. Uniform Road November, best going around. Uniform Road November, diverge to the left, follow the Cherokee mid crosswind. Diverge to the left, follow the Cherokee Lake crosswind. Diverge to the left, turn left on uh, the joint crosswind, uniform round November. Uh, uniform round November negative, follow the Cherokee Lake crosswind. Uh, 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 traffic sighted, uniform round November. On the Victor Kilo, Victor, maintain up until advised. Uh, Victor Kilo, Victor. Take 1580, runway right, clear to land. Oh, right, clear to land, take my 1580. Buzz the whiskey, diverge back to the right, you're drifting. Kilo Victor, follow the Cherokee overtaking you on your left when ready to turn crosswind. Okay, look for the traffic, Victor. Victor. You from November, turn crosswind. We're in uniform, Rome, November. Tango Romeo, Romeo, runway left, clear touch and go. Touch and go, Tango Romeo, Romeo. This is the Tango main pad, clear to land. Main pad, clear to land, still is the Tango. Ah, Charlie November, bit down wind for a touch and go. Yeah, you know, from Alpha, Prospect 1000 at Belmont Bravo. Chief from Alpha Tower, Port Choppers North. Port Choppers North, Sierra Unit from Alpha. Thanks for the tower, Duchess, uh, Whiskey Studio Alpha is ready at the link point Alpha 8 for Max County departure. We had two in there, Whiskey Studio Alpha, hold position. The Alpha holding position. Hold position, Whiskey Studio Alpha. It is here in November, downwind from runway right. It's here in November, clear visual approach, runway right number one. Clear visual approach, runway right, it is here in November. November, downwind for touch and go. Get from around November. Next up, tower, check in November, I'm going to tell Prospect 1500 inbound with Bravo. Hotel Tower, join downwind runway 29 right, maintain 1,500. 
Go down my turn on the right, my time 1500, November on that Whiskey Zulu Alpha on Alpha 8, cross from my right, line up runway center. Uh, cross the front way right, line up runway center, Whiskey Zulu Alpha. And how uh, November I so I think uh, Victor Julia Alpha at Prospect got mixed up with your call, thinking that you're calling Whiskey Zulu Alpha. A bit of a mix up there. No problem. Victor Julia Alpha Tower, joint downwind runway 29 right, maintain 1500. Maintaining 1500, joint downwind for 29 right. Victor Julia Alpha. There are hotel, thanks you, much appreciated. Whiskey Zulu Alpha, report passing 2000, runway center clear for takeoff. Runway center clear for takeoff, Whiskey Zulu Alpha. India Sierra November, runway right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway right, India Sierra November. Turn now. Windy. Yeah. Wow, wow. more bank. Right. Maybe 10 degrees of flap, I can't tell if it's windy down there or not. Oh, yeah, I should be looking, eh? <laughs> Windsock. Um, no, I think it's alright. You can use Alright. The aircraft at 1,900 feet, 4 miles northwest of Bankstown, you on frequency? Sefox Rekilo is us, you're referring to? Sefox Rekilo, say again? Uh, we just fired Bankstown and the Apostle River, is us, you're referring to? Uh, possibly, you're 1,900 feet, tracking northbound, 4 miles northwest? Uh, I found. Uh, thanks. Off. Keep the weight off the nose. Let's taxi beyond uh, the brother, next one, go to the next one. Alpha 8, runway 29 right, call up with departure, ready? Bravo, Victor Mike Tower, hold position. Bravo, Victor Mike, hold position. Well, we got him on the taxiway, so we got Mike. Okay. Take the target out, uniform train, the IFR 4821 PV in receipt of the Bravo overhead. Thanks on ground, Roman India, here in November is clear from our right. Request taxi to parking at November. India, here in November, taxi November. Taxi to November, India, here in November. Uh, the, the nose wheel, was it starting to shimmy? Is that why you said? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Keep the weight off up when you're braking. Take yeah. yeah. Okay. Once you get the mains down, down then the nose will, will drop on its own, and then when you start the brake, bring the stick back. Keep the weight off so you don't get any shimmy. Okay. Alright. Holding point alpha 8, turn on right. Tango, kick your left. Oh, it's amateur hour at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, what was going on? I, I was trying not to pay too much attention. Uh, I was just a lot of people over transmitting each other. Oh uh, yeah, over transmitting, and then uh, he was telling that guy to divert to the left. Was uh, was he following the wrong person, or I was getting too close to the preceding aircraft? Okay, he went around. Oh, I see, I see. So he didn't do what he was supposed to do, basically. It's, it's amateur out. Uh, he was on the left runway, so he should have diverted left. Okay, great. Right. Oh, yeah. He's talking to circuit traffic as well as arrivals and departures. But this is just a thing where when you, you go to the uh, the active side of the runway when you're uh, going around. Yeah, he, he did his day. When you're at a uh, at number of drone like a uh, lead tab, you go to the dead side. Oh, that's right. Okay, when there are parallel runways, you go to the active side. Yeah. What if it's class D, but there's only one runway, like Camden? Uh, you, you, or Camden, you have to go basically in the circuit side. The active side. Oh, that's to stay away from gliders. Yeah. If if you just have one runway, it's a simple class D. Maybe that never exists. But is it always the active side at class D? Pretty much. Okay. The circuit side, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, they have that rule separate for class D versus a class C aerodrome. Or a seat tap, I should say. Yeah, a seat tap. It's outside control there, I suppose, so they could just go on the dead side. They should be actually consistent. Yeah, it's it, um, that seems error prone. Yeah. Well, welcome to the Australian Airways. Yeah. That, that really seems like I can see the wisdom in a lot of the rules, but that one seems wrong. Yeah. Back some ground to become perfect. As I said, we got the second best airway <laughs> system in the world. <laughs> Great. Kilo Victor taxi bravo. I mean, do you know what the rule is in America? Bravo, Oh, it's, I think it's. Um, Go to the dead side. Dead side? Yeah, it's consistent. Okay. Consistent is good, whatever, whether it's 
As long as it's consistent, yeah. But here at Bankstown, that's part of the briefing when you brief someone on the circuit. Uh, go rounds. Yeah, okay, because it's not typical if you learn in the country. Yeah, okay. well, most people learning at a bank stamp never learned in the country, so this is all they know. Yeah, that, well that's me, yeah. So from that point of view, they should know it. Yeah. They should have been briefed on it. They haven't been briefed. Oh, yuck. Okay, you know, that's, that's even worse. Well, that's... That's... That's cool. the schools at bank stamp, they're like that. They yeah. don't do things properly. But, I mean, to pass the RPL exam, you got to do that, right? Correct. So, how are they giving students... Yeah, but maybe he hasn't passed yet, you say. Oh, well that, yeah, that yeah, person is in the training yeah. circuit, so... Yeah, that, well, that's true, that's he, true. He might be only, you know, three or four hours from the start. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Still. But I feel like the instructors should have told him what to do. You're right. Out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. More. Keep going. More. And stop. Alright. Sound checks, parking brake is off, lights and Peter switches off, off, off. Um, sorry. Avionics off, 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 off. Throttle is at 900 already. Good, throttle to 1100.